वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू टू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन थेविनेंस थियरम एंड इन दैट दो टू एग्जाम्पल्स आर दर विद डिपेंडेंट सोर्स एज वेल एज इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्स सो दैट विल बी क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड एट लास्ट आई एल गिव यू वन प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन फॉर दैट यू शुड राइट योर आंसर इन कमेंट बॉक्स डेफिनेटली आई एल गेट बैक टू यू इफ एनी इश्यू इज देर सो लेट एस हैव फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओवर हियर सो यू सी हियर वी आर हैविंग a question in which circuit shown below is having value of thevenin's resistance is how much so for this circuit we are dealing with to find thevenin's resistance and if you observe all the sources that is independent sources right 2 ampere 2 voltage 5 voltage so those are independent sources so for thevenin's resistance calculation all we need to do is we just need to short voltage sources and we need to short current sources and then find equivalent thevenin's of that network right let me mention that first so here we are dealing with to measure rth as this is load resistance and what i'll be doing is now i'll be shorting this 5 voltage 2 voltage and i'll keep this 2 ampere current open circuit so let me redraw this circuit over here so now you see what i have done is i have shorted this 5 voltage and 2 voltage over here and here and i have kept this 2 ampere current source as open circuit for independent source as i have said so now rth is very simple over here you see rth that is this 10 parallel 10 is there right and in series with that 10 ohm is there right so 10 parallel 10 is 10 into 10 divided by 10 plus 10 plus 10 so this is 5 so 5 plus 10 that is 15 ohm so correct option of this question is 15 ohm right so that is how simply we can identify thevenin's equivalent resistance right now what i'll do is i'll explain you one very interesting question for dependent source so let us see the question first so you can see this is quite interesting circuit which we have and for this we are dealing with to find thevenin's resistance and if you see this circuit for which we are dealing with to find thevenin's resistance then you see here we have voltage source these are dependent voltage source its value is mu1 into v2 minus v1 where v2 is voltage over here v1 is voltage here v3 is mu2 into v3 minus v1 so that is also dependent voltage source right and we are dealing with to find thevenin's resistance for dependent source case right so my dear students whenever you have examples based on dependent source of thevenin's theorem in that case all you need to do is you have to replace load by battery and whatever current that is induced by that battery that will gives you idea about what is thevenin's resistance that will be v by i and then you will have to make sure whatever independent sources are there for that voltage sources should be short circuited and current sources should be open circuited that is what you should take care of but here there is no independent source so all i need to do is first i'll be connecting load replaced by voltage v battery right so here first what i'll be doing is i'll be connecting a battery with voltage source v and let us say it is inducing current i so our calculation will be rth is equals to v by i and here there is no independent source so let me connect this circuit first now in this circuit you see we have v1 over here and that is not connected with anything so i can consider v1 is equals to 0 initially right as it is open over here if it is having some connection then that should be given to you right and as v1 is 0 you see this dependent source is having value mu1 into v2 minus v1 so if v1 is 0 this will be now mu1 into v2 and with this dependent source value is mu2 into v3 minus v1 so 
as V1 is 0, this will be mu2 into V3. Now see, V3 is voltage at this node, right? And V2, that is voltage at this node. And this resistance is R1, this is R2, and this is R3. So now this is the circuit which we have. And in this circuit, we are dealing with to find V by I. So obviously we can find this in terms of V by I, but here V1 is zero, but V2, V3 that we need to substitute in KVL equation, right? So if I consider that in this loop, as there is only one loop, current is I, I can apply KVL in this loop. So if you apply KVL in this loop, then you see voltage source V that is happening from minus to plus. So plus V that I need to write. Now you see this voltage source that is happening from minus to plus. So that is also plus mu2 into V3. And you see this voltage source that is happening from minus to plus. So that is plus mu1 into V2. And that is equals to R1, R2, R3 resistance are there through which current is I. So I can say I into R1 plus R2 plus R3. But you see, now our question is, what should be the value of V2 and V3? And if you substitute that, we can have V by I ratio, right? So now let us find the value of V2, right? So you see, if you apply nodal analysis here, we have ground here, right? So V2 is how much? V2, that is from here, it is I into R1, right? V2 is I into R1. And if you apply nodal analysis over here, from here to ground, then what is V3? V3 is I into R2 plus I into R1 and then minus 2 plus is happening. So minus mu1 V2 that I need to write. So you see R2 into I and it is now you see I am considering that as minus 2 plus and over this side minus 2 plus is negative. So minus mu1 V2 plus R1 I. Now mu V2 that we already have. So I can say that R1 I plus R2 I minus now you see mu1 and V2 is I R1 that we have, right? So now you see we have V2 and V3 in terms of I, right? So that we can substitute in this equation. Let us say this is 1. So I'm placing that in equation 1. Now let us simplify this. V plus mu2 V3 that we have. So V3 is R1 I plus R2 I minus mu1 I R1 plus mu1 into V2 and V2 is I R1 and that is equals to I into R1 plus R2 plus R3. Now let us take all these terms on other side. So V is equals to. Now if you observe here we have I common for all these terms, right? So I'm taking I common and now what I'm doing is I'll be taking R1 terms, R2 terms and R3 terms separately. So if I take R1 term, then you see R1 into, now you see we have R1 into minus mu2. So minus mu2 that I'm writing. So this term is covered. We have this term that is minus minus plus mu1 mu2 R1. So I can say mu1 mu2, which is plus over here. Now I have this term that is having, you see, I forgot to write mu1. So minus mu1 that I'm having. And with this term, we have plus one only, right? Now with R2, we have minus mu2. So I'm writing minus mu2, right? So this term is covered. And with this, there is one. 
so plus 1 that I need to write plus R3 and R3 is having only this term so that is 1 only right now I can say V by I that is our RTH right and if you take this i over this side then you see r1 into we have 1 minus mu1 into mu1 plus mu2 minus mu2 so over here if you take common as 1 minus mu1 then you will be having 1 minus mu1 into 1 minus mu2 with this term right plus r2 into 1 minus mu2 that you will be having plus R3. So, RTH is this for this case, right. So, I hope you have understood this. Sometimes you will be having this type of tricky question. At that time, you should follow same process as I have repeated that for many of the questions which I have solved that in this network theory playlist and definitely you will get answer quickly as if you do practice. So, you just practice along with my playlist definitely you can solve questions very quickly. Initially, it will take time. The reason is you will have to understand the basic concept. Now, to improve your concept, let me give you one homework question. So, here you see, I am having this circuit which is there with dependent source and what I want is you should calculate Thevenin's equivalent for this circuit, right. Now, this circuit that I have solved with Norton's theorem. So, what I want is you should solve it by Thevenin's theorem also. That's why I am giving you this question over here for homework. I hope you have understood this. Still, if you have any query, you just place that in comment box. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.